Now, once you've made your way into the editor, you're going to want to turn to the left side where the left toolbar is. You're going to see that there's a shovel icon. If you hover over that, it's going to tell you it's the mask tool. It'll basically allows you to create your land masses and you can easily access that with a shortcut key M to get to that. So I'll go ahead and click that and open it up. And we're going to start at the very top. The first option is a clear all. That means whatever land mass you have on the canvas will be cleared away. So I click clear all, it goes away. Now if I click fill all, conversely, it's gonna fill the entire uh, map with the add mode of the mask tool. And then we're gonna go down to the brushes. You're gonna see there's an edgy brush. I wanna mention if you hold down the shift key and use your mouse scroll wheel, it will change the size of the brush. So that shortcut key is really helpful. Now the edgy brush, is going to have some edges to it when you apply it. So you got some nice edges around there. And you can also turn off the smooth. So when I apply it, the edges are a little bit harder, a little bit more edgier. And you can also change uh, how rough it is. So if I bring the roughness down, you'll see there's a little bit of a preview there showing you how rough it is. go all the way up down to three and all the way up to 32 if you want. And you'll see that. So let's go ahead and undo that. There's also a circle brush. It allows you to throw that down. And then there's also going to be your grid. So if you have a grid on, whatever the grid is, it's going to apply basically making whatever the cells of the grid are. So that's very useful to have. Next is going to be a fill bucket. Now if I click this, wherever there is going to be BG, it's going to fill it in. So it'll basically fill it. It's not the same as fill all because fill all uh, basically fills up everything. Okay. Next, there's going to be the shapes. So you, there's a snap option, so it will snap to the grid. Now you can also turn that snap option off so it won't snap to that grid. That's up to you. And you notice too that when you have that shape up, you have the same options. There's the add, subtract. You're going to have a rectangle and the other shapes. Let's go over those other shapes real quick. Okay, there's also a circle. There's going to be polygons as well. And you can change how many sides there are. Starting at the bottom with three sides all the way up to 12 sides. So you can do quite a bit. Now there's some additional options as well over here. You can go fills the interior of the entire shape while you can do fills the outline of the shape. So that outline option there is going to be super helpful. Now the last bit of options that we want to go over here is those advanced settings. So if I click advanced settings and click enable mask effects, you'll see a bunch will pop up. So it, if you have a slower machine, it will take a moment to load up, but there are different types of things that you can use here. There are mask effects with multiple defaults that you can choose. There's gonna be dark ripples. There's gonna be dark coastline, simple coastline. So there are different mask effects that you can do, or if you have the pro version, you can just create your own. So if I go over to custom like this, you can go over and change everything yourself. So you can change the stroke which is just going to be the line that goes around the whole landmass. You can change the outline and you're going to be able to change the size of the outline or just by just changing on the slider bar here, change that outline. You're also going to have an outer shadow. That means a shadow that's cast outside of the FG layer, protruding out into the BG layer. There's an inner shadow, a ripples effect, and with the ripples effect, you can change the width of each ripple, the count of how many ripples, and the space or gap between each one of those ripples. I'll zoom in care more carefully so you can see each one. So I can change that ripple to a count of three if I want. And then you'll notice that it, there will be three instead of the five. And you can also turn them off if you want, if you don't like that. So you can change all these different mask effects to make it easier to make the land mask blend better with the ocean. Okay, so those are all very, very helpful. In the next video, we will cover the brush tool. Thank you so much for watching, everybody.